All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out the brand new Skull Candy Push Ultra. Now, this is a pair that a lot of people have been looking forward to, including myself. It's a pair that comes in at $100 and puts it at the top price-wise when it comes to Skull Candy's truly wireless earbuds. Now, I feel like before starting this video, I really need to say this. I am a huge fan of Skull Candy products. I've been a huge fan all the way back to the original Hesh, to the Aviators, the Navigators, uh, the Titans, the Crusher lineup. Like, I'm a huge fan. But this channel revolves around truly wireless earbuds, and I can say that that's not been Skull Candy's strongest point yet. But I can say that so far, with the release of their original Truly Wireless earbuds, the Push, and then the Indies, and then the Sesh, and then their new Evo lineup, they are showing that everything is moving up as they move forward. So I have really high hopes when it comes to the Push Ultra. In fact, if you're naming your product Ultra, you're kind of saying this is the best of the best when it comes to your lineup. Well, I can tell you that that forward progress takes an immediate dive when it comes to the Push Ultra. In fact, this is the worst product they have in their truly wireless lineup. It may be the worst product that they've ever put out. But let's go ahead and check out some of the features and what it is you get inside the box. Now they do have Bluetooth 5.0. They also have AAC and SBC playback. One of the huge pluses here is they also have the Tile integration, which basically means you download the Tile app and you're able to locate these no matter where you left them. If you feel like you left them in another room or you left them outside, this will just help you locate where you last left your earbuds. Now, when it comes to the IP rating, these are rated at IP67, so they are completely waterproof, which I also like because this is a pair that you can tell is designed around using outdoors because it has the ear hook design. So if you are outdoors, you don't have to worry about rain. You don't have to worry if you sweat heavily and you don't have to worry if you submerge them into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you don't get any kind of silicone ear tips because this has the open air design. It's basically designed to where you can listen to your music and hear everything around you because it doesn't have a seal. It just sits in your ear canal, kind of like the AirPods um, and kind of like the new Surface earbuds, which I think is ultimately ruining these earbuds. But we will talk about that a little bit later. Now, as far as the charging cable, you are getting a USB-C cable. And speaking of the charging cable, the battery life on these are actually pretty decent. On the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around six hours, where with the case, you're going to get around 40 hours total. And if you do happen to pick these up and they are dead, they do have the fast charge feature where a quick 10 minute charge will get you two hours worth of use. And another bonus about these is this is the first Skull Candy pair that also has a Qi wireless charging case. So as far as features go, I really like the direction they were heading. Now, speaking of the case, the case is also a little bit different. Now, we already know they're going to be a little bit bigger because the earbuds have that ear hook design, but they also have a zipper on them, which is kind of unique. I think I've only seen that in one other pair of earbuds, and that kind of concerns me because if the zipper breaks, it's just gonna make it a little bit harder to open your earbuds because they don't magnetically clasp and stay closed that way. So that is something you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with. Now on the back, you can see the USB-C input for charging, and then under the lid, it does have a single indicator light so that you can kind of gauge about how much battery life is left on the earbud. Now moving over to looking at the earbuds, like I said, these are obviously geared towards working out. They do have the ear hook design, and I found these to be pretty comfortable, other than the fact that I'm not a huge fan of this style of them just sitting in your ear and not having any kind of seal because of that silicone ear tip. Now these do have button controls, and I'm happy to say that they control everything. You have two different kind of button controls as well. You have a button on the outside, and then you have buttons that are located underneath. And just like the other newer earbuds that we've tried out from Skull Candy, it also has the three EQ modes built in as well. So you have the music setting, the movie setting, and then you have the podcast setting, which I really do appreciate, but it doesn't really make a difference in this pair. Now for you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then when it comes to the microphones, I think the microphones do a decent job. I think for most people that are using these for phone calls, won't have any complaints. 
but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. Alright guys, so here is a mic test using the Skull Candy Push Ultra. Again, I think the microphones on here are pretty decent, and I don't think anybody on the other line will have any complaints. And so now here's a mic test with a crowd noise being played in the background, which you can hear here. And this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. The sound is ultimately what ruins these earbuds, which comes back to the fit and the style of them. When you have an open air type design earbud, basically what you're getting is an earbud that's just kind of sitting in your ear. It's not necessarily all the way in your ear canal. It's not causing a very good seal. So you just have something that's kind of pumping music in the direction of your ear canal, but it's not sealing anything, which means you hear everything around you. And some people may prefer this design, so I completely respect that. But the sensation that I get with these is a lot of distance. Really bad sound. There's no life to the sound. You can hear it. It's basically like buying a very cheap speaker and even at that, holding it at a distance. I mean, let's talk about the bass. Skull Candy, for the most part, is known for their bass. At least, either going to be too much or you're going to feel it. One way or another, you're going to be able to feel the bass. Well, these are the complete opposite. I didn't feel any bass. There's no bass impact. I mean, you can if you actually just kind of shove them and hold them into your ear canal, but nobody is gonna use these this way. So having that open air design basically ruins the bass experience on these altogether. And that's kind of the theme with the mids and the treble as well. They lack that detail just simply because they're not actually pressed into your ear. A lot of that sound and a lot of your details are escaping or it's getting lost in your surroundings. So overall, the listening experience, the bass, the mids, and the treble just lack any kind of presence. It just sounds dull. And it's not a defective pair, I promise. Like I said, if you push the earbud into your ear canal, you can tell what should have been there. But as soon as you let go, that's what happens. Everything else just lets go. Now, when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, we'll give them a plus here because they definitely sound open because they are open. Everything is open. They, they feel like you're listening to them outside and that's not a good thing. As far as being able to tell where instruments are coming from, it doesn't really do a good job with that either. It, just because it lacks the detail in the mids and the treble. So overall, this is the part where I normally list my cons with the product. Um, and really it comes down to the sound. The sound is the con of this product. I think the features are good. Um, I think a lot of people would be interested in a Skull Candy product that's made for working out that has the ear hooks. I just think it was implemented bad and I really don't think the open air design fits with this type of product. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Skull Candy Push Ultra. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.